stronger than me. Your wish is my command. It is in despair that I see the fondest hopes. Kindness is the surest path. I'm terrified. Sand rises when I give the word. No! 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 Good day guys, nice to have you here. So, today let's talk about a hero that is starting to lose popularity again. He used to be one of the most picked and banned heroes in the game after receiving a revamp. Due to the recent changes and nerfs on certain key items though, Sun's effectiveness lowered. I was the first pick and with no hesitations I picked Sun. I just want to be clear though, under normal conditions, I don't recommend picking Sun first. Don't you do it! If you do, you will be countered hard. I only did in order to have a challenging game and show you the strong potential of this hero. Just bring it! That's how much I love you guys. I'm always willing to risk a star just to make you guys happy. So please, like and share this video and of course, subscribe to my channel. So please, whatever. I'm positive you guys have noticed that I am playing Sun on the middle lane. This, however, is not ideal since Sun has below average to average early game clearing, and mid laners ideally should be heroes that can clear lanes fast, which is why usually. Skill-based burst heroes are played on this lane. However, I went to the middle lane in order to mess up the laning of the opposing team. There is a huge possibility that Cyclops is going to be the mid laner, which is a hero that will eventually become my food due to his squishiness. Considering that his ultimate can easily be dodged by Sun's ultimate, even if Cyclops snowballs, he will barely become a threat. What, you think I'm afraid of you? I'm not afraid of you! What makes Sun an excellent hero is the versatility of his winning condition. Whether you play Sun as an aggressive jungler or a tactical side laner, and even in times that the odds are against you, the chances of losing is still fairly slim as long as you are versatile enough to adapt to the situation. Not too many heroes have such a versatility. Some heroes rely on ending the game early due to their early power spike. Some rely on their ability to deal burst damage and some are extremely weak on the early game but scales amazingly well on the late game. Sun on the other hand is one of the few heroes who can escape from danger and evade ganks easily. Take down heroes regardless of their defenses and push turrets like a madman. Or I guess in this context a mad monkey. Even if you only have 2 damage items on this hero, the damage he's capable of dealing is still more than significant. It's over 9,000! What 9,000?! This is what I mean by Sun having so much escape potential. Well, partly because I sacrificed Kimmy. Before we continue though, I wanna give my shoutouts to Harith Khan. Thanks buddy for always supporting the channel. You're awesome. The emblem I used on this game is Mage Killer. I did because a lot of the heroes on the enemy team are excellent counters against Sun. This means that my primary winning condition is to take turrets and main objectives as fast as possible. One of the key skills you should have in order to play Sun effectively is to always have proper judgment whether you need to join a clash, take objectives, or push. Don't aim for personal glory, but instead aim for absolute victory. 50 to sometimes even 60% of the games you play may not give you the MVP medal, but knowing this is the true key to success when playing as this hero. Analyze the good and bad performers in both your team and the enemy team. This will help you gain better judgment and decision making. In this game, Gushan was doing fairly well. Which is why in most cases, 
I try to have more faith in his abilities and clash it out. Wow, you really have that much faith in me? Yeah, sure. Why not? As for the enemy team, both Yu Zhang and Khalid were performing well, so I was extra careful whenever dealing with them. If it's not necessary, I don't engage in clashes unless the payoff will be worth it. So I guess Kimi's purpose in this game is to become my scapegoat. Thanks Kimi, you are a true hero. Die for me. Am I a hero? I really can't say, but yes. Right now, Sun is not ready yet to join clashes due to his squishiness and lack of a life drain item. Having Dominance Ice is essential in this game since it not only slows down the attack speed of the jungler and the gold laner from the opposing team, it most importantly decreases the HP regeneration of both Khalid and Yu Zhang, which is why instead of joining, I chose to manage the lanes instead. There are times though that you will make split second decision changes, just like this. Since the bottom lane is almost completely pushed, they will defend that lane first which will give us a few seconds to steal the top turret. This was a near clutch steal but sadly there were too many of them before I got the chance to use my third skill on the Lord. I was only late for a split second. I may have failed to steal the Lord from them, but it was still a good payoff because we were able to erase four of the enemies. This meant that the Lord will be useless due to lack of lane control. We can consider this as mission success. Most of our enemies are on the middle lane, while Yu Zhang just respond. I think this is a perfect time for me to help Gushan on the top lane. Our has been Shut down. Ally has been slain. Since the Arabian Beyblade is on the bottom lane, let's join this clash. As long as you have the ability to analyze the minimap and the situation within seconds, the chances of you making a good decision will improve. Always consider enemies and ally positions on the minimap and who you are exactly dealing with. This will allow you to quickly formulate a strategy. That concludes our video for today. Do you have any other recommendations on how to play Sun better? If you do, let us all know in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit like, share, and please, oh please, subscribe. Stay safe everyone.
Peace.